Those new to the channel, we wrecked a million plus dollar McLaren Senna, and the effects of that have been astound. We have had significant trouble getting these cars reinsured. It took three months. There were periods where I didn't think that Tommy, Natalia, anybody could drive other than me and my wife. We thought that we might get dropped all together and not find insurance even for my wife and I. Was the channel in jeopardy? Maybe it was. If you can't insure the vehicles, then we can't go share them with the community, drive them, have fun with them. And then came Andrew. Andrew is from Greenbrook Insurance here in my hometown in Illinois. And him and I worked together a lot and he worked really hard and came up with a really surprising strategy that I'm gonna tell you about in a little bit, but we were able to get all of the cars insured. Now, some of the rates went up, some went down, some went way up, but overall, given that there was a wreck on my policy, I'm really happy, and I just crunched all the numbers right before the video, really surprised, actually, at how competitive you ended up being with Country, the old insurance carrier. At the end, I'm gonna run a total comparison cost of the old versus the new insurance. You're probably gonna be shocked at how much I spend every year on insurance, but I think you'll also be shocked at the spread. Stick around and you'll see that in just a little bit. Speaking of Country Financial, I do wanna say that I understand why they dropped me. There were a bunch of claims, and you probably see this all the time, in the, uh, but, but they strung me along for like three or four months, so I actually thought it was gonna be okay. I didn't do much prep work, and then as soon as they paid that check, that $1.4 million check that I got for the Senna, they just kind of dropped me immediately after. I'm like, oh, well, that's great. You come in first. You come in first. You come in first. So that happened. And the funny story about that is I was told that the, the main auditor for them, his son was a fan of the channel. And as soon as I heard that, I'm like, okay, well, that, I, I can understand why. And I, I do understand why. Steve, if you owned an insurance agency, would you insure yourself? Uh, no comment. No comment. <laughs> if he can insure me, he can insure anybody, though. Oh I'm just gosh. letting you know. Oh, Andrew at Greenbrook Insurance, y'all. Side note, I'm going to jump right into all the insurance costs, old versus new. I'm going to skip all the boring cars because that's no fun. We're just going to get to the really fun and exciting cars, and there are a lot of them, as you know. So I've got my little cheat sheet here, and first car up is going to be, why not, the McLaren Senna, because that's what ultimately caused this debacle. This is my brand new McLaren Senna. We just released a vlog about it. Loved it so much, had to get another one. This is a $1.2 million car. Country had this at just $215 a month. And it is actually now just $239 a month. Again, I'm gonna go over why I was able to get cheap rates and he was a lot, if not all, to do with it, but we'll get to that in a little bit. This is the workhorse of the collection, the Porsche GT3 RS. This is about a $250,000 car. And Country had this at $83 a month. It is now at $82 a month. Now, the last two have been close. There are some shockers along the way that I was sitting there and I'm like, why, did this, why is this car so stinking expensive? Or there are fewer, I'm like, how did you guys get it that cheap? We'll find out about those in a bit. And now my most favorite, least favorite vehicle, the Resvani Hercules Military 6x6. This is one of the ones that actually shocked me when I looked at it. So before it was only $104 a month. And this is on a $400,000 vehicle. I think that's where they goofed up. It's titled as a Jeep Gladiator. I told them it's a $400,000 build. The rate still came in at $104 a month. So um, we got insured here with, uh, with an alternate carrier that was $401 a month. And for one of my daily drivers, a Cadillac Escalade, that one is about a $110,000 vehicle. Country was at 79 bucks, and Greenbrook got me down to $70. Are you verifying rates, Andrew? I am. Like, that's literally <laughs> what I'm like, doing right he's now. He's like, oh, I'll make sure like, this uh, is all right. You know, I gotta, I gotta call him out if he's too high, but if he's too low, we're just gonna, we're gonna let that slide. <laughs> Actually, uh, three pieces of shit, believe it or not. Number one, compliments of Zelda <laughs> that's been there for 24 hours now. It's 48, Great but job. just counting. The, the actual shit box that took a year to build and I hate with all of my uh, it, this is the Toby of the office great practical joke Jim got me go to the annex oh no god I hate it I wonder why it's here still and I hope someone will burn it to the ground anyway $225,000 total invested into this vehicle 112 with country new carrier 113 close Close. Okay, now the third steaming hot pile of shit is my M5. I'm not even gonna go over the race because I'm just so angry. I wanna vent for a little bit. This is what this looks like after two times the amount of time the guy, Dominate Racing in Arizona, was given to do the build. This is how he sent this car back. This was supposed to be a slammed, wide-bodied car with wheels, a S85 V10 motor in it, 30,000, uh, 30, not 40,000, 40,000 bucks, and you can have all the parts, the motor, 
the original motor, this vehicle. Remember that time that this car was supposed to be at SEMA six months ago, and this is the shape it's in. Yes. Next up, one of the most powerful vehicles in the collection. Oh, Tommy, beat that. You hit the windshield. Uh, I don't know. I think my one. We, we didn't make up any rules for that. So, uh, $125,000 car that we just threw beanbags on. 1,000 horsepower twin turbo build. That one was 106 bucks, and that one went up to 125 bucks. So, overall, so far, aside of the Resvani that I think was just a a kind of glitch on Country's End, somehow, some way, with a million dollar wreck on our policy we have remained pretty freaking consistent. The Pagani's not here right now because I was wilding out with that thing. Um, just really minor, minor stuff. It just needed a quick detail. And that is a $3 million vehicle. One of my favorites of the collection right now. That was previously, this is one that I'm excited about and I'm sure I proclaimed it to you, but that was 226 bucks. Somehow a $3 million vehicle is now only $192 a month. The best part about this is the comments that we got in the last video where people are like, you pay less for your hyper cars than I do like my Honda Civic. I don't know. I don't know, folks. I don't know what to say. The fact of the matter is you must drive responsibly, no accidents. And yeah, don't, um, don't text and drive. Don't do donuts. Yep. Don't, don't go snowboarding yeah. by Bugattis. Yes, don't no. jump over vehicles. Yeah, if you you'll do be all fine. of those things, you'll have great rates. You will be fine. Right? Let's get into strategy. All right, now is the little cheat sheet. So if you are a person that has amassed a collection of, let's say, six plus vehicles, mm -hmm. The, the trick to the trade is don't go to an insurance carrier with 30 f***ing vehicles. Because <laughs> that, that shocks the insurance carrier. You see, if they see that, they're going to go look you up and they're going to figure out that you're, that you're jumping three hypercars at once and that's going to be a problem. Yeah. Um, Literally, so, I, I went to at least 30 carriers. <laughs> and most of them knew who you were. I'm oh, not God. exaggerating. Oh, they, God. they literally knew who Tommy was. That's, that's even worse. So essentially what we did is we divided the risk over four different carriers. I remember we met at a Starbucks. He had a document all written, crafted up with this strategy, ready to go. And, uh, and I came there kind of starting to think about this idea. It was weird after months of working and trying hard. Um, he definitely had the idea much further developed, but it kind of came to us both. And so that worked really well. It didn't shock the carriers. Some of these carriers you're probably never going to recognize. Um, but that's okay. We'll deal with that when we get another wreck. I mean, if we get an, yeah. if we get another Please wreck. Please don't say that. If we get another Please wreck. Please don't say that. We're going to move a little quicker, but still plenty of shot coming. Ford GT, $400,000 car, $52 a month with country. Possibly the cheapest. Yes, the cheapest vehicle I had. 52 bucks a month for this thing. Um, and now it is just 82 bucks. These must be low risk vehicles or something, even though they're worth so much money. I don't get it. Now for the fun part, the Bugatti Chiron. Let's go find it. Where you at? There it is. Bugatti Chiron, still very much part of the collection. Tried to sell it, <laughs> failed. Go check out the vlog. $734, prior cost, new cost, $734. A wash, most expensive insurance rate in the entire collection. Right, yeah. This is where factory parts come to die. Okay, we, completely. We sold half of these too, by the way. There was more than double this six weeks ago. It's crazy. You still can't even walk through it. That's okay. No. That's all right. Lamborghini Urus, my daily, the car that I probably drive the most with the most miles on. About a $300,000 car as we optioned it. Um, country was at $155. And then the new insurance, this is where there's a little bigger spread, $250 a month. Still, still not that bad. For the record, we have less than half of the cars here. So we're gonna do a vlog really soon about the full move-in. We're gonna show you guys all the areas that we never show. This place came together so neat and it's gonna be jam-packed with all the cars coming soon. Um, speaking of which, Coming soon, doesn't make any sense, great. 1991 Ferrari Testarossa, I paid right about 150,000 bucks for this very, very clean car. Um, 50 bucks a month with country, 79 bucks a month with the new carrier. More, Those are the two. More, more various parts, is this all M5 shit? Almost everything. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Speaking of M5s, we'll, we'll sit in front of this for the There's next the one. It's right there. Shh. Shh. The beep Shh. wheels. Oh. Brand new set of wheels for my next hypercar. That vlog is coming really soon, folks once it gets done in service. Um, Porsche 918, $2 million vehicle, $74 a month prior, which made no sense to me. $2 million vehicle, 75. I pay 95 bucks a month for insurance for my, and that's like cheap for my car. That's what I'm and saying. 918, 74. And then new rate is 369. All right, so we got this black on black vehicle that is just like the LaFerrari. Now the LaFerrari is the most expensive car in the entire collection, $3.5 million car. This is one I'm happy about. $201 previously, now $191. Good job, buddy. Good job on that one. You worked hard. You made it happen. Do um, what I can. 
Again, this has all happened with a <laughs> wreck on my record. Right. I'm very pleased. <laughs> And next up, the Lamborghini Countach. The Countach is getting a full interior restoration. We're not gonna do a vlog on that, so I'm revealing it to you now. That's about a $750,000 vehicle. Only paid like 350 for it, yay. Uh, that one was 54 a month, and it has a 54 in front of it, but now it is $254 a month. You, you, don't, have, you don't have to worry, bro. You, you did a great job. Appreciate you did a good it. job. Thank you. Thank Keep you. in mind the, the hurdles we had to go through. Yeah, we, we did a lot. Yes, yes. Um, I didn't actually hit the ping pong ball. Let's go. Oh, God, I'm bad. Oh, dude. Oh, let's go. Ah! Ah, he Come wins. On. That was that doesn't usually happen. He wins. Oh, you win. If I, if I, I was wins. talking in third person. Got it. That happens. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm weird like that. <laughs> McLaren P1, 1.6 million dollar car. Previously 182, now 181. High five. Newest car to the collection coming up. I feel like the orange calipers is what sets this apart from most of the other. It's filthy. Oh God, I got like drinks up in this bro. thing. That's okay, bro. Okay, wait, just, oh my <laughs> Steve has had this car for two days, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what the there's, actual there's hell? Dog, there's dog slobber on the seats. Oh my goodness. There's a truck. I know, I know. Why nah. are those? Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, all right, all right, guys. Uh, $700,000 Rolls Royce Phantom just picked up very recently. Did not previously have it insured because um, I didn't, I just got it. I just got it. Uh, and then Greenbrook is at 601 bucks. Can we work on that more? That feels high relative, or, or did you, do you feel I like- I did. I, so the carrier that was most competitive would only insure it for $150,000 if he had a complete yep. loss, so. And, and do you, are we probably hit as many carriers as we could? We, we currently? did, we did, absolutely. Why are these so expensive? Yes. Like, do people be wrecking these things? I guess so. What happens? Know. They're old people with- Oh, maybe, that, wouldn't that be crazy? Last but not least, the McLaren 765 LT. Uh, this is worth right around 600, maybe $550,000. The fleet is ever diminishing because COVID be going away. Uh, 146, can't read my own writing, Tommy, or I'm gonna assume it was 146 before. And this one is now 266. I'm gonna get a final tally in just a moment. We'll let you guys know what my previous annual rate was for all these vehicles and my current annual rate. And keep in mind, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 vehicles. So. When you're thinking about the price, this is it's 18 vehicles. Let's go check. We have crunched the numbers. Total 12 month cost of the old insurance carrier, $38,088. Now I plugged in the Rolls Royce fee because I have to include that into the old cost. So that was a lateral movement. New cost, $50,248. That's a win, dude. If, I, if my insurance went up less than about 30% increase, for a 1.4, I would have never expected in my wildest dreams for it to have that little of an impact. I thought I was gonna be at 70 to 100K plus easily. So, if I got insured. So, you did a great job. Thank you very much for working so hard on getting that done. Give it up for um, Greenbrook. Hi. Thank you, thank you. Tell me why Greenbrook was able to give me a kick-ass deal after such a freaking bad accident. Because we shopped. We shopped around. There's tons of carriers that we have access to. I mean, we literally looked at 30 carriers. Wow. Yeah. So, and we have access to more, yeah. but you know, we did our due diligence and, and um, we were able to, to help out and I'm glad uh, you guys used us. Are you uh, how, like, are you limited to one region or can you ensure? No. Yeah. So we're currently in the states of Illinois, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Indiana, Connecticut, Florida. Cool. Well, if you guys are in one of those states, we're going to put the logo and the phone number yes, and the email up. address. Hit them up, they will get you taken care of. Yep. And you don't have to have a hypercar to get insurance. No, right? you absolutely Just do make not it have sure. to have a, have Just a hypercar. Sure. I've, got, I've also got minivans insured, yeah, Teslas true. that we didn't cover, yeah. so he can take care of you guys yep. with anything. Yep. I'm, really curious on, uh, I'm really curious on what your insurance rate is. We get a lot of comments that, again, people's our insurance are, are really high and they're shocked, especially overseas. Let us know what you're paying for your insurance right now. Leave a comment below. And just relative to the, to the collection that we went over, again, not the entire collection, but we covered a lot of it. It's about a quarter of a percent for my new rate of the total collection value. Just a quarter of a percent I pay annually to cover insurance. And then the old rate was about a fifth of a percent. So really close, seems really reasonable to me at the end of the day. And as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe below, guys. Thanks.